Hey, I want to show you a quick video about some people had asked me about uh, getting a century uh, pass to cross back into the United States, uh, leaving Mexico. It's a, actually a fast track that you can pay for to get uh, a, a pass century card to go back into the United States. It's supposed to help extradite your uh, crossing. Uh, this card, you can obtain it. Um, it costs about $122.25 per person that you apply for it. Uh, lately, it's been taking about a, a year, a year and a half for people to obtain this card. So I'm just going to show this brief video of what the line looked like with Century when it shouldn't be taking this long. Good evening. This is Michael for Love and Freedom. Hey, today I'm over here in Mexico. I'm showing, I'm going to be showing the people that say they got Century uh, crossing the border. And right now, the Century lane is a joke. I'm gonna let you see. I'm standing over here on 8th Street right now. As you can see, I'm on 8th Street at the line. That is the line. That says 8th Street. That's 8th Street. That's 8th Street. The line is currently all the way back to 14th. The Central Lane is supposed to be quick. You're supposed to get across the border real quick in the Central Lane. You pay that money to get across the line quick. It's over about an hour and a half to two hour wait in the Central Lane, which is ridiculous. Normally you can drive right up to the Central Lane in about 20, 30 minutes and be across at the latest. But this is the Central Lane right now that you're looking at. That's the Central Lane. That is ridiculous. And y'all see your trunk wall. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. So spend your money and wait on your century to come, which could take up a year, year and a half to get your century. I'm just saying, that's on you.